everybody? Welcome to today's video. Thank y'all so much for joining me. We've had quite a busy morning already. We had a couple of errands that we needed to run this morning. I went and the coffee that you saw was actually not for me. That was for my friend Terry. Yesterday was her birthday, but we had um, kind of like an icy wintry mix yesterday morning. So I dropped her off um, her favorite coffee at the place I used to work at. And so after that, we left and we went and dropped Hayden's comforter off at the laundromat because it's kind of too bulky to go in my washing machine so this sweet lady that works there washes it for me dries it and then I go back and pick it up and then after that we stopped by and picked up my thyroid medication so things have been kind of crazy around here the last couple of days Harrison is still home with me because his um mother's morning out class had an exposure and so things have just been off track, off schedule, and I mean, it is what it is. So, Hayden had a delay yesterday because of the wintry mix, so he went in three hours late. So, I just feel like my life is all up in the air right now. <laughs> and we started organizing around here a couple of days ago, as you guys saw in my last video, and it kind of sent me into a spiral of organizing other things. So, I've been pulling things out while Harrison is home. So, new things are fun for him but they're not fun for me so anyways that's been kind of stressful to deal with but we're making it through so the first thing we're going to get into today guys is we're going to go ahead and get dinner in the crock pot we're having i have to look every time because i can't remember anything we're having crock pot chicken and rice i found this recipe on pinterest so i'll link it below um it looks like it's going to be pretty easy and simple so Let's go ahead and get on into that. Welcome to today's video. Alrighty, so I have all the ingredients out here on my countertop. You'll need two chicken breasts. I have these that were in my freezer. They're still a little bit frozen, but that's okay. You need two packets of a chicken gravy mix, one can of cream of chicken, a half a cup of sour cream. You'll need garlic powder and black pepper, and then you also need one and a half cups of water. All right. So, the first thing that it says for us to do is that we need to go ahead and season our chicken with the garlic powder and the, and the pepper. Alright, so once we get our chicken seasoned, which I didn't get the sour pepper like I should have. All right, so once we get our chicken seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and add it into the crock pot. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to mix all the ingredients together except for the sour cream. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back in my refrigerator because we don't need it until a little bit later. All right, so I've got my can of cream of chicken, a cup and a half of water. Mm -hmm. Well, I was trying to say the dishes, but it looks like it's not gonna work. So we're gonna pour everything into this large bowl so we can mix it well. Now that we've got this all mixed, we're just gonna add this to the top of the chicken. All right, and we're gonna cover and cook this on low for six to eight hours. All right, you guys, I have something I need to share with you guys. But first, raise your hand if you will go back to a restaurant over and over again because they have the good ice. You know what ice I'm talking about. Sonic, Chick-fil-A, well, the hospital. <laughs> we don't really try to go there. But, <laughs> you know, it's just like the ice that is the finer things in life. Yes, yes. Well, New Air has sent me an ice maker, and it makes the nugget ice. I can't tell y'all how excited I am. I'm so excited to be working with New Air again. You guys know I have worked with them in the past. So I wanna share with you guys this ice maker that they have sent me. All right, you guys, so here it is. It's sitting on my countertop. And as you can see, it fits perfectly underneath my 
countertops here and it also has a very slender sleek design it makes you ain't gonna believe this 44 pounds of nugget ice per day yes that's amazing now am i gonna leave this on my countertop i'm undecided about that yet i may have a different place in mind for this don't get discouraged and think all of a sudden well i don't have room on my countertop for this be creative okay be creative you are worth the finer things in life. <laughs> so I have been using this ice maker for a couple of days now just because I wanted to make sure that I had a feel of how it works and that I also wanted to recommend it to you guys because I don't want to steer anybody wrong. I don't want to put anything here on my channel or my videos that I don't stand behind and that I don't believe in. So with that being said, we tried this out for a couple of days and all of the kids in the neighborhood, especially the teenage girls, have been over here in my ice every day they love it so comes with a little ice scooper here you have a removable ice bin here and it comes with a little drip tray on the bottom that you can remove and clean and also it has a light and as you can see it's a nice blue hue so it's nothing that's going to be obnoxious in your kitchen I also want to point out that it does have a self-cleaning mode. It's pretty simple to use. It does not have a water hookup, which my husband was kind of hoping that it did. But for the less technical folks, I believe that, you know, this is ideal anyway. All right, so down here in the bottom, you'll see that there is a, a water reservoir. And you pour your water down in here. It cycles the water up, back, and, and then into the top of the machine. And it makes the ice. And then it dumps it out into your ice tray now it does not refrigerate or freeze the ice that it's holding so basically what happens is as the ice is made it's dropped into the bin and it begins melting well it drops back down into the reservoir to be recycled over again that can be a good that can be a good thing or a bad thing i haven't seen that it's really a bad thing it doesn't bother me it doesn't melt that fast i feel like i use the ice in it quicker than it melts so and also i bagged up some of the ice that i made the other day and i put it down in my deep freezer so let's take a little peek at how it works you want to and i've been using bottled water with it you can definitely use whatever kind of water you want to all right, so there's a max fill line that's like right there. You may not be able to see it. and You may be able to, I don't know. So we've got our water in there and see where it filters out down the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our catch tray or bucket or whatever in. We're gonna click this button to make ice. Now, whenever it runs out of water, this light will light up to tell you that it's out of water and it's, I'm not gonna say that it's the quietest thing in the world. It does make a little bit of noise, but it's not obnoxious, okay? All right, so it's currently making ice. I'm gonna go away for a little bit and we'll come back. I'm setting a timer to see kind of like how long it takes to actually get some ice in here. Also, Jeff and I have kind of been throwing around the idea of getting a camper within the next couple of months. So I think this would really be ideal to take with us camping. We'll always have ice, you know, for coolers and things like that. Because, you know, you're always on the hunt for ice whenever you're like on vacation for your coolers and things like that. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure that I also let you guys know that I will leave the link to this ice maker down in my description box below along with a coupon code. It is Jennifer10. It will give you 10% off. Thank you so much, New AA. I'm so excited and happy with my ice maker. All right, guys, you see it? The first ice cubes just fell at five minutes. Five minutes, and you started getting ice. I mean, I know it's not a lot, but still, five minutes ain't bad. It's too late.
the chicken is cooked it's been rolling up in here for I don't even it's what time is it it's 5 15 it's been rolling up in here for a while it is more than done and so I'm gonna pull it out and shred it real quick before I do that I just want to show you guys I'm fixing to throw this in my microwave it is the green giant simply steamed broccoli and cheese sauce that would be a good side for tonight i've had that in my freezer for a while and i saw it when i went down to grab my yeast rolls out and i was like oh yes it is going down tonight so i'm gonna throw this in the microwave while i get everything else ready The last thing that we need to do is add in our sour cream. And I've got about a half a cup left in here and that's exactly what's needed. I'm gonna add that in and we're going to stir it. And we're gonna let it cook for probably about 15 more minutes or so, just to let that sour cream get mixed in or cooked in or melt in or whatever it does. All right, folks. Here is my plate. I think it looks nice and colorful. <laughs> this tastes so good. I also opened me a can of pintos because I was just in the mood for pintos tonight. Can you try the chicken for me? Yeah. Let's see what you think about it. Oh my gosh, that's a big bite. Good. It's good. Mm -hmm. nom, nom, nom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, did you have a good day at school, buddy? Yep. I missed you. Thank you, too. <laughs> Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back Yeah. 
Well, that'll do it for cleaning up the kitchen. Thanks for all your help. Uh, yeah. <laughs> She was a good girl, even though she don't feel good. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end out today's video here. I hope y'all have enjoyed hanging out with me. We'll see you guys in the next video. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of your week. Bye y'all. Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my